Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Welcome to your November tarot forecast. I feel like a lot of you are just ready to level up and you're not asking questions. You're not thinking about what you need to surrender. You're just going with the flow. I like this. You have the nine of coins, your first card. Like this is a beautiful card. This is a card that is connected to confidence, that is connected to fun and flirty energy. I feel like other people are maybe also recognizing you or noticing you from afar, just being like, wow, who is that? I wanna collaborate, I wanna create with them. Maybe they wanna have some fun, like whatever it is. But what's interesting about this energy is that you are not willing to pay attention to the people that are um, draining your energy. And I also feel like you are not willing to accept just like breadcrumbs. It's like you want the full loaf. And it's like, if you're not getting the full attention, if you're not getting um, the full contract, like you're not just accepting little pieces and pieces of the bullshit and they're just stringing you along. It's like, no, I feel like you're recognizing that it just, it causes a lot of drama. It causes a lot of confusion and anything that makes you feel dramatic or confused or like, do you like me? Do you not like me? Like, we're just stopping. We're not investing into that anymore. And I think that's really a good thing. Now, some of you are also, maybe you're a little bit like ugh, nostalgic from the past or you're missing someone or there's a little bit of separation from another person. I feel like someone here could be very stubborn if it's you or if it's another person. Maybe some of you also, you just, you got ghosted or something like that. Or it's like, oh, all of a sudden there's no contact and you're like, what the fuck is happening? I feel like if you're noticing that door is closing, just lock it. If they shut the door, perfect, lock it and throw away the key. It's like, you need to use this Scorpio season, especially because you're a water sign, right? So now we're in Scorpio season, like you're gonna very much feel the power in this season because Scorpio is a water sign and you are a water sign. So we also have a new moon in Scorpio. In the center of your reading, you have the death card, which is connected to that new moon in Scorpio. Okay, so like, what is this talking about? This is talking about, oh my God. <laughs> I'm hearing like, you just, leaving them all for dead. It's like you recognizing that some of these people, they're just not at the level that you need them to be at. And if they can't show up fully and commit, if they can't pay properly, if they can't honor who you are, then that, then, then the lights are out, you know? It's like, then we're done. We're unplugging from that kind of relationship which is really good because it's making more available space for 10 of coins kinds of relationship. Hierophant with, oh, beautiful. Like with the two of cups, with the queen of cups, like this overall vibe here, when you stop trying to make something work with a collaborator, a partner, a relationship, like if you are continuing to try and try and try and try and try and try, and this person is not recognizing your value, this person is not showing up equally and it's not an equal exchange, then it's like, I, there's part of you, you know, one of the fish, like the crazier fish, is just like, I'll stay, I'll convince you, I'll show you that I'm worthy, I'll show you that I'm amazing, I'll show you. And the other fish is like, fuck all the way off fuck off, I'm done here. Because one of those fish is so confident that they can create whatever they want. And the other fish is the one that's like, please love me. And it's like, bitch, you can find that love elsewhere. Follow the other fish because the other fish is leading you to a real relationship. The other fish is leading you to a real connection, real expansion. Like this is real commitment. This is clarity. If you're feeling confused about a situation, that's a no, okay? This 10 of coins, the 10 of coins, this is a strong foundation, a strong support system. This is a lot of money. This is a lot of wealth and expansion and opportunity. So if you're noticing that you feel like you're in like a dead end at a job that you hate, then it's like, 
it's time to quit. Like you gotta move in a new direction. And I feel like maybe there's these limiting beliefs or these doubts or these fears that pop up. Pop them back down. Like this seven of wands with that four of swords reverse is like, stop stressing about the things that you can't change. Stop thinking you're not good enough. Stop thinking you can't make it happen. Stop thinking you need another person to support you, to help you, that you're nothing without them or whatever it is. It's like the wheel of fortune is literally turning in your favor and you've got the empress here with the sun. It's like, there is so much potential for you to expand in all of these new ways. And we have a deeply transformative energy right now with Scorpio season. And we just actually had a new moon in Scorpio. And I just saw 555 on the clock. This is the first new moon after eclipse season. So when we left eclipse season, we left a six month cycle that closed. And now we are starting a new six month cycle. This is the first new moon of that six month cycle. For you to call in nine of coins, 10 of coins, wealth and abundance and partnerships, real ass collaborators, real ass love, for you to commit to real love, real collaborations, real expansion opportunities and growth, you need to use this new moon in Scorpio to initiate the new six month cycle. Just watching these tarot readings is not enough. Just hearing, listening, understanding, and then disengaging is not enough. We have to actually ask the universe for help. We need to set our intentions clearly and say, this is what I want, okay? communicated clearly good and then we wait and the universe will bring it like we obviously need to take action and we need to be holding specific vibrations to attract the life that we want but it is all possible for us okay it's not possible for you when you're just sitting on your ass you need to actually do something with this energy so what do you do first of all watch the new moon workshop i'm tagging it right here it's 25 minutes, it's a home video, you can watch it anytime. This two of cups, this love, this connection, this new collaboration is on its way. See this empress? The empress energy here, this is talking about birthing a new life, birthing new projects, birthing new connections and collaborations romance. Some of you may be actually planning a family or thinking about how to commit to something and expand it in a new way. Beautiful. You have so much potential. The nine of coins and the 10 of coins. This is so much potential, but it's only that potential when you don't act on it and do something with this energy. So you've got this knight of wands here and you've got a two of coins with this four of wands. This is talking about you getting very clear on what it is that you want to call in and then figuring out how to commit to a daily practice, the routines, the belief systems. Like how do you actually take action and go after building the life that you want? First of all, you set the intentions. How do you set the intentions? I'm going to clean up your energy and I'm going to guide you through setting the intentions. Where? Right here. Okay, in the new moon workshop. You can pay whatever you want, I don't care, but watch it after this, okay? Second, what do you do? You then need to figure out how to budget your time and budget your energy. You don't have time and energy for yourself when you are so fucking distracted by all of these other losers who are trying to drain your energy or are not showing up and committing or are not being fully present with this connection. It, it's like, Stop lying to yourself, Pisces. I love you, but sometimes you live in this fantasy and it's not a good fantasy. It's you lying to yourself about people and things that they'll work out one day. Like they won't. One day they won't work out. <laughs> not with this. In a different direction, yes. And that's what this 10 of coins, nine of coins, four of wands, two of cups, the wheel of fucking fortune. Like everything you want is available to you, but sometimes we're focused on getting that from the wrong place. So shift the gears, pivot, okay? 
go right now and watch the new moon in Scorpio workshop. It's right here. I will clean up your energy. I will help you set the intentions. It will take you 20 minutes. Go. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful and share this on your Instagram story. These are free. I literally show up every month for you. Support me back, okay? I love you, Pisces. I'll see you very soon. Keep swimming. Keep swimming, bitch.